Hello all, Shoestring here. Today I'm going to do a review on one of the cheapest batteries on Amazon. About any place else you can look to. This is a BTR Power Lithium Phosphate. And I've been asked, because you see these in batteries like this all over Amazon and the internet. And the question is, well, do they work? We're going to find out. This one says it's 12.8. 8 volts and 100 amp hours. Fairly standard. You have the normal warning signs on it. It, of course, from China. Says, don't disassemble. Well, don't tell Will Pros that. You know he will. Don't mix with other batteries. That's probably a good idea. And 140. Okay. I did already weigh it. It's about um, 13, 14 pounds. It's fairly light, actually. It's actually lift it. Fairly easy to lift up. It's eight and a half inches tall, 12.8 wide, and 6.7 inches deep, just so you'll know that. It's got the uh, standard M8. It's a good size if you're just going to have one connection. If you're going to have more than one connection, um, you might want to get a longer one. I just received it in the mail. It came fairly well boxed and packaged too. So what I'm going to do is we're going to charge this thing up and then we're going to run it down and we're going to charge it up again just to see how well it works. Here is the multimeter. We're going to find out how much power it came with. Let's do red to red, black to black. And 13 point 13.50. Okay, so that's pretty good charged, but we are still going to charge it all the way up. Battery charger. I have charged up the battery. It says 14.2. We'll just say 14.2 because it's bouncing around, which of course is a fully charged battery. And now what I'm going to do is start setting everything up for the test and see if it actually does a hundred amp hours like it's supposed to. All right, everyone, we are back and ready to start our test. It says it's a hundred amp hour. Well, we're going to find out. It did pass my initial test on the computer, but as you know, I don't trust those, and I want to know what it's going to do in real life. So what do I have? I have these two fans I have hooked up. It's summertime. Let's put a fan on. I have a kilowatt meter here, and it says I am running about 100 watts, which is what I want with this little 200 watt inverter, which is a great little inverter, by the way. I'll put a link to it. I've done a couple reviews on it. It's been running for years, and it does great. But how does this battery do? Well, technically, if you do the math, it should run both these fans for 10 hours. So what am I going to do? I'm going to leave it right here and see how long it runs. Okay, what do I have? The inverter I told you about. It's a modified sine wave, 200, connected to my battery. I also have a power strip which goes to the two fans and we're going to come out occasionally and see how well this runs. Now of course I'll wait till it's finished and then come back and give you guys a report and let you know does this 100 amp hour battery really do 100 amp hours. I don't mean on the computer, which I told you it did, but I mean for real, in real life. All right, folks, we are halfway through our test. We came out and checked it. It is six hours later. Both fans, by the way, are still running. You can see it says a hundred, well, 101, but a hundred watts. And we'll go over here to kilowatts. And it says 0.59. That's right on track of where we should be. Take us back to watts. Let's go ahead and take the multimeter. See where we're at. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
the red, the black, and we are at 13.1, which is what for a 100 amp hour battery, six hours, 100 watts being pulled from it, that is about what we would expect. So, we will keep it running until it actually stops and give you our entire report then. Okay, folks, so it has stopped. And let's see, both fans have shut down. Let's go ahead and turn this off. Of course, the kilowatt's dead because we are out of power. Fortunately, it ran for over 10 hours. Check it on the multimeter. 11.1, eh, so we'll say 11, which means the battery still has enough juice to get down to 10 or 10.1, but our inverter shut it down just a bit early. And that will conclude this test. It obviously does have 100 amp hours and has shown it has more than 100 amp hour capability. So now what we're going to do is charge it back up and see if it will go back to its full charge. All right, folks, we've come back out and we've now charged the battery all the way up. I charged it, my charge controller out in the sun just to see how that would really work. And as you can see, it's 14.3 and it says full, which is how I have mine set. Uh, you can set yours 14.4, 14.6, whatever you'd like. Let's go ahead and turn this off and do our little roundup. What do we have with this inexpensive battery? Now, this is one of the cheapest you can get on the market, which is why I decided to take a look at it. Its case is pretty sturdy. It has a string. These are M8 connectors. Like I said before, they're good connectors if you're only going to put one or two items on it. But if you're going to do something with several, then you're probably going to want some longer. But at the moment, for just one or two, these will work just great. It has, by the way, a uh, built-in BMS, of course. It's 100 amp hours. And the board, of course, has overcharge protection, over discharge, over current, short circuit, over temperature, it does not have a low temperature cutoff, which isn't important to me. It's not important to most people, but if you feel you need one, if you live in an area that you think you're going to need one, then you should go ahead and think of another battery. If not, then this will work. It can also be put in parallel or series, of course. Uh, up, to four up to four batteries, it says. Other than that, it works really well. It does a good job. And, of course, what I'm going to use it for is uh, backup power. For, put it on one of my solar systems. So there it is. That's my roundup. That's what I think. That's what we found out in the testing. If you have any questions or comments, put it down into uh, the comments. Also, if you find one that's cheaper than this but it's actually a good one, put that in the comments, too, and we'll take may take a look at that. As always, like, share, and hit the little notification bell, and shoestring out.